<laughs> so yeah, we're back this week with episode 55 LV, as it were, in Roman numerals for the Holy Maneuver. Uh, we're going to be talking about Ahsoka Part 6, Far, Far Away, this week. Uh, and this week, uh, we have Geek the F Out channel joining us, uh, Silver K. Oh, that's right. Silver K. <laughs> Hello. And then, uh, Lucha Johnny. Greetings and salutations. Yeah. Thanks and for Mike having Johnny. us. Yeah. Yes, thanks for being here. And then Mike joining me is always down that corner. I'm I'm always here somewhere in some fashion. <laughs> yes, yes. In some universe. Hey, so I have a question. Uh oh. <laughs> Where exactly did the Night Sisters go on Peridia to get new stormtrooper armor? I'm gonna say the dump. <laughs> Good guess, but no. <laughs> hermit crab trailer park. The Hobbit hermit crabs. <laughs> the Hobbit hermit crabs. <laughs> no, they they go to the Thrawn shop. <laughs> It didn't play. It's literally supposed to play. There we yeah. go. Just... <laughs> Thank you, StreamYard. Thank you, StreamYard. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to message him about the sounds because they keep like not playing when I try to use them. But, but yeah, there so... was a sound first. I heard something. It's just I maybe have, they just I don't know. It's weird. Last week it did the same thing. Clicked him, nothing happened, and then I had to re-upload one, and it finally worked. Well, hmm. There we go. Uh, anyways, though, uh, so yeah, I guess we'll we'll start here by getting everybody's like initial thoughts on the episode that we watched this week. We'll kind of go round robin like we normally do. So we'll we'll start with uh, Hila, then go down to Johnny, then Mike, then me. Uh, so what was your overall? What were your overall thoughts of this week's episode of Ahsoka? Hated it. Never gonna watch another episode. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding <laughs> no i really enjoyed it i wasn't sure how they were going to top or even if they were going to match last week's episode and i think i loved it just as much but for different reasons because this because last week i mean was epic with anakin and all the stuff with clone wars and rebels being thrown in there um and so there's a lot of nostalgia for those things and this week i think there was a lot of like classic star wars i almost said star trek um <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of classic star wars in it that i really enjoyed um as well and i think they i think they hit the nail on the head in a, a very different way this week but uh yeah thoroughly enjoyed it and i will continue to watch <laughs> Nice. Uh, how about you, John? Um, so it's been a it's been an interesting talking point that I have not watched Rebels. Um, it, For shame, <laughs> Michael well, hasn't either. I was. I purposely did not watch it not to alone. give the perspective of like someone who hasn't seen Rebels and and whether or not you know things are hitting the way mm -hmm. they should. Uh, the the introduction of Thrawn came off as a big deal. Like that was so well done like i've i've read about thrawn and like i never read the books that he was in either and i've watched synopsis videos about rebels but they really pulled off making he has a presence that mm -hmm. with with all his troops chanting his name as he's walking down and and the one guy with the the gold mask uh, uh you know, they really pulled it off <laughs> well um yeah uh <clears throat> so overall yeah i i'm I'm enjoying the show in general. I thought it was like Kayla said, it was like, I didn't know if they would be able to, to top last week's episode this week. Um, they definitely didn't bottom it. <laughs> <laughs> I did power bottom it. <laughs> well, I mean the, the star destroyer might've, um, <laughs> oh boy, uh, I, I, I joked. Imagery. I joked on Twitter that I was sincerely hoping they didn't pull the whole thing where, like, this week, instead of seeing this other galaxy, we just got a day in the life of the New Republic with, like, Hera and Karsa dealing with, like, the higher-ups mm -hmm. and explaining themselves. Oh, yeah. So I was glad they didn't go that route. 
Um, yeah. But yeah, I liked this episode just as much as any of the other ones that I've seen so far. Nice. Agreed. All right, how about you, Mike? I was I enjoyed it. It was very. It was a change from what we've seen before last week's episode, like where it wasn't just recapping the last season of Rebels. Like they, they kind of went forward finally with the story. In my opinion, from what I've seen from recaps and all that stuff I watched to prepare for Ahsoka, they weren't rehashing things, which is okay, whatever, do what you got to do. But mm-hmm. it, it's, it told a story and it didn't rely on past information. Like having to see something from the animated series in live action again, having to basically redo a scene from that Clone Wars or something again to tell the story. It had its own feel. It's like, it could have been like a stand, like, again, last week I was like, this is kind of where the series feels like it kicked off. And this one is like, oh, this could be another series kickoff point. It wasn't just like a continuation of something that we've already seen. Like, this felt new, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, new but have old. New but way. old. <laughs> Always have more questions on choices they make. Because, like, they're on this Dathmir planet that everyone seems to know about, but nobody seems to know about. At the same time, like, it's a myth, but yeah. it's not. Uh, it was... And how, how do whale carcasses decay in space is another question I have. Like, I didn't and think that was possible. Bones... Yeah. yeah. I'd love to know the science behind that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they get too technical. Maybe there's other space-born life that feeds off the carcasses and space like, lice or something. I don't know, like dermistid beetles, lice. but in space. And... Space lice. Oh, I was. I kind of felt the Ezra reveal lacked a punch, in my opinion. Like it wasn't as powerful as it was kind of being built up to be for Sabine. He was mm-hmm. just kind of like, "Hey, here I am." Just leaning, just chilling. <laughs> Maybe that was intentional because I I don't know much about Ezra. Maybe that's his vibe. I don't know. I'll yeah, let the experts speak to that. He's kind of a he's kind of a chill guy, more or less. He had his <laughs> mithril shirt on. Yes, yeah. he did have mithril. <laughs> oh, Dave Filoni and his love of Tolkien. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I enjoyed it. Um, still want to know why it's called Ahsoka because it's not really a story about her. But... I mean, could be like how the Mandalorian is now about Bo Katan, and she's but she's still Mandalorian. Mandalorian. Yeah, I don't know. It's, I mean, Boba, ever called Fett, Din Boba Fett, half of that fucking. I, hey, I have my own problems with Boba Fett, so I did not like that series. <laughs> but no, I, I like it. I enjoy. It. I'm, I have. I'm figured. digging this series so far, so I'm not. I'm not putting a hard line in the sand saying this is awful, like a couple of guests we've had have done. So, nice. yeah, I watched a couple of those people <laughs> were not fans. I was like, oh no, <laughs> this is scary. It, it, as much as I can get mad at a Star Wars thing, I still like it because it's Star Wars. Like, I yeah. can't complain because of artistic choices and storytelling things that go on because. It's someone else's baby. Like, I, I, they can't placate to everyone. They got to yeah. make something. And I can disagree with the and choice this, and still enjoy it. And this so. one is Filoni's baby. Very much so. <laughs> mm-hmm. You can very much tell that it is his baby. Like, yeah. Mark sent me something. Like, Dave Filoni knows where Ahsoka and Luke met. Uh, yeah, because he created this character. And... <laughs> like he it's his story like he he wrote that already like yeah I, <laughs> yeah my my theory for that was still i don't know if it has a chance to happen out with it being two more episodes left but i had had that theory earlier in the season where that like this show was taking place immediately after ahsoka's episode of mando season two mm-hmm. and then it like mm-hmm. all took place possibly before she showed up in Book of Boba Fett again. Um, and then, or possibly... be interesting somewhere. to see how she goes back from Gandalf the white to Gandalf the black. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, because I don't... It could still happen, but 
I just remembered like I thought maybe that she would end up after like the events of the show maybe that's when we then see her meet Luke at that point uh, yeah I want to know where that all intertwines because I've seen some theories like even new rock star stores rock stars was breaking it down and he was like there's this tiny glitch when we see the purgles at the <laughs> front and it could be uh grogu and oh, yeah. daddy pedro <laughs> and their <laughs> and one papa p yeah papa p and his slutty little <laughs> knee uh could be them but uh <laughs> i'm like wow that is a stretch but who the fuck knows? Like, totally could have been. Dave Filoni knows. He knows. Dave Filoni knows. Filoni knows. Filoni only knows. Hashtag. Maybe Filoni he doesn't, hashtag. and he's just making all this shit up as he goes along. Maybe I mean, technically, like season, season everyone does. Lost, That's what rating is. It's true. <laughs> but, well, I don't yeah. know. There's there's seat of your pants writers, and there's outline writers who have, like, oh, everything. Yeah. Seat of your pants right before, here. Yeah. Okay. Vince Gilligan I am... would be on would be on this side. Hashtag Filoni knows. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so good. I, I think at least for my thoughts on this episode is I don't know if anybody else watched it, but the did anybody else watch Willow on Disney Plus mm -hmm. before it got removed? I've seen the Disney original Plus? one, but not okay. the So Wait, you the can't new... nobody can Yeah, the the new the oh, okay. one that's not on that Disney Plus anymore. One. The one Disney I can't throw watch it because it's not on <laughs> Disney Plus anymore. But yeah, bringing Ralph back the vault. Ralph and James mentioned <laughs> that. Why did they remove it again? Uh, taxes. Do we know. Taxes. Oh. <laughs> okay. Because Tax Bob like, Iger came back. <laughs> the, like the the new Mighty Ducks series isn't on there. It's it's pretty much all of like the Disney Plus original shows that weren't Marvel or Star Wars got taken off of Disney Plus for reasons but yeah i mean um, what i was gonna just basically just equate it to was that this episode kind of felt very within the vibe of that series uh where it, just because it had like a lot of the mystical stuff with like the night sisters in here you had like the like the kind of weird kind of creature like wolf rat looking <laughs> howler i think the one who called yeah howlers. Was it? Okay. Okay, how rodents of yeah. unusual size yeah yeah it's like a rat dog horse thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know when i when they showed them like way off like when they had that like really wide established shot wolves. yeah i thought it was gonna be lothwolf but then i was like wait they're not on lothal so unless yeah lothwolves only are on there i don't know but yeah i i liked this entire i liked the kind of whole like weird vibe that was going on with this episode it was like very much more uh mystical than it than i feel like some of the other episodes have been but overall mm -hmm. that's what i i took away yeah i had said so, like sorry I, I said one of the things i wanted they're going to new galaxy was i wanted to be weird like completely <laughs> different than what we saw and they came out of hyperspace and there's a a a planet with a ring system that's the bones of space whales and i'm like i think that suffices and they've got <laughs> statues that are could just constantly in silent screams uh oh yeah yeah i i'm i'm pretty happy with the level of weird that we ended up with uh going to I feel a like whole, it new, been a whole different galaxy it probably could have but man that i mean we're in the samurai galaxy from what it feels like yeah that That's planetary cool. ring system made of of space whale bones is is so metal. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so metal. So metal. So yeah, like the the episode opens with the the, the Purgles traveling through hyperspace, and I I kind of have it as our our background on here. People can't really see it because we're in front of it. But uh, how dare like we be in front of it? Okay. I mean, I could drop us all out and put us back in, but that'll take too long. Uh, but yeah, I like I, I liked that that shot. I, it was very uh, I don't know. It's just pretty, I guess. Metal. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Metal. It was like uh, yeah, like nineteen seventies like animation, like that kind of like acid trippy. Metal. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. 
Kind of reminded me of some of the stuff from uh, Thor Ragnarok too. Is like especially yes. when they're like recreating the like the Willy Wonka the Bifrost uh, <laughs> boat scene, mm-hmm. but with with Chris Hemsworth on the 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 chair there. Because um, <laughs> because they have the yeah. the close up on his face. It's supposed to be like the Wonka like freaking out face, but uh, I just don't remember that scene. That's all. Just like <laughs> that. that <one. laughs> <laughs> faster and faster where we're going nobody knows god terrifying <laughs> it was that scene is gave me nightmares yeah <laughs> but i'm not alone but yeah, Teen the, wilder the, the, creepy traumatized many a youngling mm-hmm. <laughs> the, did you what did you guys think the visuals in that scene like how they were doing that with, with yeah the portal, like, going it, through? it also was very different from how we've seen hyperspace before. Yes, really that's what I was, I was thinking. Like that. Mm-hmm. Bootyful, full of booty, a purple booty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Plus, I mean, uh, I don't know if anyone else has thoughts on the visuals, but going into the you know, Ahsoka and Hu Yang talking. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. it was, you know, a very brief scene between them, but, like, we got so much. Like, we got those awesome visuals, and then we got this great, I mean, not the best conversation, but a really cool no. conversation if you're, I was about to say Star Trek again, Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> it's because we just talked about Trek. Um, and get a lot of cool little tidbits the history of the universe parts one two and three in a galaxy far far or a long time ago in a a galaxy far far away like we got all that like what did we ever expect to hear that in something star wars like something so meta in star wars like that was amazing that was really cool i literally did the the leo point at the tv when (laughs) Yang's. Um, he said the thing. Yeah, he said the he thing. Said the I, thing. I also, <laughs> Ow. I also, <laughs> I also, I also liked the, the like the slight. I don't know if it was supposed to be like a dig, but like I liked the, or not. So it was like part one being the best, of course, best. out of mm. out of the three parts of the history of the universe. Uh, and Mike had a a thing there. I think about it having a good connection. Oh, to... the Mel Brooks. <laughs> yeah, it's because. It's a, there's a joke there. Like there's gotta be. It's. I mean, they they did. <laughs> Maybe they'll go it... to the Spaceballs universe. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Maybe that that's well, what this also, universe is. Hu Yang is what twenty five thousand years old. Yeah, something like that. So I don't think. I mean, a lot of people are like, "Oh, is this the prequels, or are they talking about like the first, the first thing that came out, which is the OG trilogy?" And I was like, "No, this is the history. Like, this is old." <laughs> This isn't They're talking Yoda hatching from an egg, like oh yeah. Which there's a lot of theories that Yoda came from this galaxy and then be interesting. came yeah. over to our galaxy. And that's why they're like, oh, he's all knowing because he's from another galaxy. But I was like, there's not really evidence to show that it's a fun theory, but no. I don't know. Yeah, just... And then he became an absentee father after he and Yaddle made Grogu. <laughs> well, Yaddle kind of got screwed in more ways than I mean, than yeah, that's how, that that's, that's how you would make Grogu. <laughs> that's how that works. But, because she went to go the... catch Dooku oh, and gets what? God. Smushed? Yeah. <laughs> um, Anakin did not have a father. How did that happen? He's space Jesus. Oh. Because uh, Ezra is space Moses. So. Is he though? I feel like Ezra looks more like Jesus. I know the joke is that Obi Wan is Jesus, but like, well, let's be real, he would have Obi- looked more like yeah. Obi Wan. Obi Wan's American... more of a Joseph. Obi Wan is American yeah. Jesus. I was going to say Obi Wan is accurate Jesus. <laughs> yeah. So Obi Wan is a Mormon. Is that what you're westernized, saying? Westernized, westernized version. Yes. <laughs> He's like the Buddy Christ. The Buddy Christ. <laughs> Only with a higher death count. Body count. Yeah. <laughs> well, kind of body eh, count. I mean, it might be close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, crusades and, and everything. And you guys already kind of brought it up too, but with like the like the rings around Pridia, basically being like we see the bones and then like just kind of why it is meant to be mm -hmm. like purple skeletons. Expected Simba to start hopping around and singing. <laughs> oh yeah, Where, what, what's that shadow place is... over there? Dark. <laughs> I mean, his dad is Darth Vader. It's oh, true. Yeah. You must never go there. <laughs> so you go there. That's right. Uh, it might. I think I already mentioned thought, my one thing about that. You thought maybe it was like where they went to like die or like it is. Where well, he's that's where they said. I mean, that's what no. Balin in the mm -hmm. story said was. Right. This is where the Pergo go to die, or space whales. But also, it doesn't mean. Doesn't mean that if they go there, they're going to die. I think that's like where they eventually go. Um, yeah, I have no idea like where they migrate, but I feel like wherever they want, I mean, who's could, gonna stop them? It could, yeah. yeah, exactly. It could be you only go there to die, but I think I don't know. It seems, yeah, who knows? So they're so they're space whales, but they're more like space salmon. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> salmon go to the same place to spawn. Thing. Well, yeah. maybe yeah, they just maybe they go there to do that and also to die. <laughs> I was I was yeah. I was speculating that like they go to there to die, but they don't go to die alone. Like the whole family comes with mm. them and it's like a big to do. Oh, yeah. and then then the Purgle kind of morbid, dies and but... the rest of the family like <laughs> Let's go watch Dad die. Back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like fuck. <laughs> maybe that's I'm getting real weird with the lore here. So the <laughs> the the eldest Purgle comes here to die. The other Purgle uh, have a cannibalistic ritual where they eat the the dead elder. And that's why the <laughs> ring system is full of bones. Like they pick the bones clean and then they go back to the other galaxy. Got dark. Hot damn. Okay. Got dark real quick. <laughs> yeah, I went from <laughs> zero to one hundred. That's the way. Quick. <laughs> Zaddy Pedro. I mean, it's just a thought. Like, it could be All right. And then Moving you on. had a you had you some thoughts know. about <laughs> about Morgan's shuttle too, didn't you? Yeah, her shuttle's cool. It like it's the if you know the the eighties toys Silverhawks. There's a a vehicle called the Sprint Hawk. It had a button and it popped the wings out of the back. And when it launched, when her shuttle launched off the uh hyperspace ring and the wings came out i'm like that looks like the sprint hawk just in gold <laughs> instead of silver yeah that that looked like the whole the whole like eye of scion and then like just that like little like i guess like, they're a little yeah or so soren <laughs> yeah never gets old yeah nope. the, the eye of michael soren uh <laughs> yeah uh like with that Yes. <laughs> uh, like the other stuff on here too that I've been like noticing through. I mean, I'm probably, I know I'm not the only one too. Is that like throughout this like season so far, there's been like a lot of like Arthurian kind of legend type mythology type feeling stuff. There's also like a lot of like Shakespearean, like Macbeth type of and like Greek mythology mm -hmm. stuff that feels like kind of woven in like. Even with like the three night sisters here, it feels like the three fates from that too. Uh, yes. So that, yeah. So um, literally their names in the credits, Johnny. Is that what you're about to say? Yeah, I was I was gonna let Mark <laughs> finish if he if he had more to say. I didn't want to interrupt him. Oh no, yeah, you're good. Go ahead. Um yeah, the <laughs> the main the the middle night sister, the first one that talks, who is uh played by Claudia Black, who played Aaron's son in Farscape, which I'd love to see that. Um her name in the credits was Clotho, which was K-L-O-T-H-O-W. And Clotho is the name of one of the three fates from Greek mythology. Uh Clotho, Lachesis, and Atropos, which they just did a whole like season of them being in um legends of tomorrow i think it was one of the cw arrowverse shows uh so yeah like even their even the name of that night sister is like and uh clotho spins the thread of of fate for lives 
So they t- they even mentioned uh, um, Sabine being a loose thread. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm curious to Indeed. like to see what all is going to happen with them. Like talking about they're saying like it reeks of Jedi. So I guess that's confirmation that like Sabine does have some kind of force. Well, level why wouldn't they have said that detectable? about Balin and? Because the only reason Jedi, yeah, and the only reason (laughs) I say it that way is too mostly because of like the direction that they did, like within the show, where like they did the camera movement over to her. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason I thought that, but yeah, I just I thought it too, but I'm like, when why didn't they say it about them? Technically, he was a Jedi, Shin's the only one who. Well, no, it's Sabine too. They weren't. They're not technically Jedi because they didn't go through Jedi school, quote unquote. Maybe because she's secretly more powerful than all of them, but we just don't know it yet. I'd like to think so. Not if you listen to Hu Yang. She's the worst (laughs) Jedi ever. You know what? (laughs) Fuck Hu Yang. (laughs) That was a great little quip that he had. I loved it. (laughs) Yeah, I laughed pretty hard at it. And Mark kind of mentioned it, you know, they, they keep the Night Sisters kept referring to Sabine as it. Like it reeks mm-hmm. of Jedi. It is dangerous. It will wait in solitude. So They're I'm really wondering... not good with pronouns. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, they are not. They, they, there are no pronouns in this galaxy. Apparently not. Yeah. They did. The so the 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 other thing too you're mentioning Balin was too that I thought was kind of interesting is like he he kind of gives this whole like monologue to Shin after that like opening scene there with the the witches, um, which I basically summarized down to because he's saying like it's it happens over and over again I was like oh so it's mm-hmm. poetry it rhymes mm-hmm. and he's not here to yeah comment. <laughs> that would have been fun. That would have been funny if he just straight up. I mean, that maybe that would have been too like on the nose when they already did a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. To then also yeah. in the same episode say it's like poetry, or <laughs> and then someone would just have to say faster and more intense to somebody else in the episode too. <laughs> just, just go for all the greatest hits. Uh, but, yeah, so I'm, I'm curious, like what he's specifically on pretty looking for because he definitely has his own thing that he wants to accomplish while they're there uh yeah didn't you want to start a new something i can't remember what he said something he he wants a new future he's talking about the big he yeah. said that he's looking for the beginning the way to yeah. end the the cycle that he was talking right. about of like war and rebellion and then another uh fascist organization government coming in and then another rebellion and war etc and so on and so forth yeah yep basically just wants to be a zaddy in charge of everyone and everything yes bypass all the bullshit and become a god essentially (laughs) that's what i'm all right he did it in real life i'll say that yeah (laughs) Soon. Yeah, I have no though? idea how they're gonna. I have no idea how they're gonna handle that. Uh, Maybe he just has such a presence, and mm-hmm. yeah. obviously, we'll see in the next two episodes what happens with him. But if he's still alive at the end of things, Maybe he'll hard. be the second person to die from a lightsaber to the stomach. Well, I saw. I saw someone suggest that, like, if Balin like were to make it to, like, if they did. Like if Balin shows up again somewhere else within like these series or movies that they'll be doing, to the suggestion was maybe Gerard Butler because they have kind of like a similar esque yeah. stature and whatnot. I could see that. But I just I feel like it's kind of a disservice though with how well right he did. It. He'll yeah. go to where uh, Cara Dune is. He'll go in that hallway. Just, 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 for, be just mentioned. for a different reason. Don't put her, <laughs> him in with her, though. Oh, I put her in with way... Mr. Turner and uh, Minkus from Boy Meets World. So It's go. just a hallway characters go to never be seen again. Or you can go with uh, with with Leia uh, to, where, to where she is. Uh, 
I could I, if if they would go. recast, I could see uh, maybe Graham McTavish kind of fitting in the role. Oh yeah, I could see that too. Oh yeah, I think he could he He'd could kind good. of give that same presence and an aura to it. Um, aura. I, don't I know think we talked about it that they would do if if Balin even makes it out of this season alive. Right. Yeah. I don't know if it was last episode or the one before. I think Mark brought it up. He thinks Shin's going to betray Balin in some fashion. One yeah. of them is going to betray. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Shin. Shin Hottie, H-O-T-T-I-E. Um, pretty sure it's going to be her. She's going to she's gonna turn to the good side. And I'm going to be very happy about that. <laughs> That's all I will say. <laughs> Interesting. She, got her, she still has her sweet clone wars uh era headset too so that's mm -hmm. it's pretty she awesome does. waste not uh, so and then the didn't she here... drive the busted up version of like the naboo fighters did she can't remember what that we talked about it oh, in the man. episode and... yeah they, they do have like yeah they had those like really weird looking bombers in yeah that they... one kind of looked like single prop planes yeah, yeah. that's i can't almost remember like, what we decided they looked like almost like i mean it's similar to like the like the bombers from like last jedi that like were similar to like like a like a world war type of mm -hmm. like larger plane that were dropping the bombs like that <laughs> yeah um mm -hmm. so, so kind of i guess going going with that vibe but like the yeah. other thing <laughs> Uh, that I that I noticed um, in the scene too, like with Sabine while she was being contained, is that like they do like this whole other scene where it's like another force pull push, mm -hmm. um, a fake mm -hmm. out with, mm -hmm. with Sabine while she's in her cell. Which it seems like they're they're building this up to like that. There's gonna be like some big moment like later on between like so they've already done like the cup scene and then they had like a lingering shot on the cup. And they had the the fight with her and Shin, where they kind of mm -hmm. had a fake out there, where like he thought she used the force, but it was just like her like using her Mando gear. Um, but yeah, like what, what do you guys think is gonna like like any like ideas or like what you'd want to see happen with her? I guess. Yeah, I think there's definitely gonna be something with her by the end of the season where she's using the force in some way like they can't be showing all of that just to have her do nothing that's where i stand here yeah. something's gonna yeah. happen something it might be happen. a big Hu yang, thing. Hu yang is gonna be proven wrong <laughs> <laughs> i i She's have a feeling move a starship or something <laughs> <laughs> i i don't know if it's gonna be that big i i have a feeling it's going to be small but pivotal like she'll out of desperation Ooh. Uh, someone's mm -hmm. gonna have a lightsaber coming at, like someone's gonna stab Ahsoka through the gut, and uh, Sabine goes no, and just force pushes the lightsaber out of the person's hand or blaster or right. whatever you have, something like that that like turns the tide for them. Yeah, or something like with like she has to protect Ezra, maybe some somehow. Yeah, I was thinking yeah. something like what Grogu's done, where all of a sudden a it's just this big thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think there has to be then, a lot of. And then she falls asleep. <laughs> yeah, just like Goku. Okay. And I'm spent. <laughs> I'm done. Give me a snacky. Give yeah. me chicken nuggies. Chicken, chicken nuggies. Some of the blue macarons. <laughs> you want some soup? So that she can not throw up. No. Dead. <laughs> uh, you mean so... uh, Eowyn soup? Aowen soup. The <laughs> that what was that water that lit up from? Oh, oh I yeah. can't remember. I do not remember. The light of something or other. Was that wait? Was that Andor when they had like the? Light no, this is from Lord of the Rings where oh. we've jumped. Oh, because they said Aowen soup, up? and I thought that was Lord of the Rings. The Death Marshes. It is. Lord yeah, it's the like Rings. the light of something Gladriel gives to. Oh, the light of Rendil. That's no, what I need my lights in my room. Nice. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> whatever. It's a big deal. 
It's literally <laughs> like one of the stars that like created the whole fucking universe. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Don't get me started. I literally have like two Lord of the Rings tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> Okay with that. Anywho, Ahsoka. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bringing so, it back. Yeah, from here we see th the Thrawn Star Destroyer pulling up. Uh, complete with the, the nice And it gets huge... penetrated. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I shared a, so, a, it was a tweet that, I'd, that, I, yeah, that I saw that <laughs> said Thrawn voice. Initiate docking protocol reverse cowgirl. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So good. But, yeah. So yeah, he he shows up. It's and I liked how they kept the continuity of having like the the wolf painted on the the bottom of the star destroyer, which mm -hmm. uh, for for Johnny and Mike that that was from that was from Rebels. <laughs> I would never have guessed. <laughs> yeah. And the oh, top Ralph's of it here. has a Hi, has a bunch of uh, gold patch Watch work Rebels. on it too. <laughs> it's a continuing theme to every episode lately. He's, he'll Hi, watch Ralph. it after. I'm gonna watch it after, watch yeah. It. Yeah. Nice. Hey, <laughs> we could we could you could watch it and then we could talk about it after. Just one episode. <laughs> yeah. He Just hates like when a I do whole this. rebels. We have that... so many things <laughs> that we want to get. But if to. it's just one episode. Yeah. I say this every time. <laughs> Just one. Um, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, they dock. And uh, <laughs> so what exactly are they doing with these coffins slash in the catacombs? Coffins in the catacombs. So they're moving these coffins, these yeah. floating coffins. And they're like, oh, it's going to take three rotations, so like three days to move everything. And then oh, I missed that gonna... line. I thought they were talking about like the planet going around and <laughs> mm. completely yeah. way over the head. <laughs> yeah, I've um, watched this too many times and I've watched too many breakdowns. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, there's lots of theories because I mean, these Kintsugi Shibari stormtroopers, they have to be some kind of zombies or something. Or That's maybe what I was just, just about to say. More green, the rays green of the dead. farts. <laughs> so I'm guessing it was the lost was monster. It was the smoke monster from Lost. Yes, yeah. that's what he was. It was John Locke <laughs> and and Titus Welliger in the role of all of the storm. Don't don't uh, spoil Johnny though, because we are gonna do a thing about Lost, and he has not watched it. So <laughs> I watched I've watched the Lost <gasps> finale. Well, the finale. Nice yeah, it's a long story. Silly <laughs> yeah, made a guest spot. Yeah. That's quite the episode nice to, to to watch and only watch. Yeah. That's literally the only episode of Lost I've seen is the finale. Take and he still finish. wants to watch it. That's a good, it's a very, very good show. It was over a and decade I ago. It. I don't really remember much about it. And there then you and then you can and watch then... the, the documentary yeah. that our yes. friend Ralph is working on. That's the plan. It's going to be all built up to that. <laughs> we just have to start it soon. <laughs> It'll happen. I'm going to make it happen. It's like my favorite <laughs> show of all time. So <clears throat> you can't see my lost stuff is below me down here. Okay. And my, didn't my first it. tattoo was, was lost related. So oh, I have one on my ankle. It's part Captain America, part lost. So it's the Dharma logo, but I'll in say the, the Dharma logo. Star, in the, it's a star. So then it also looks like Cap's shield. Nice. So. Yeah. All, the, pretty much one, all my one tattoos, of the I combine something. One of the many Dharma stations. Yes, that's, yes. that's the, that's the Avenger <laughs> Star Station. station. Yeah, the, yes. the Avenger Station on Avengers on Campus the, the Station. <laughs> yeah, that would yeah, actually well, be a smart place to put their headquarters because no one would ever find it. <laughs> Cross to that. There, what when before they built Avengers Campus, they had the hatch next to Mission Breakout. Like over in the like the the like landscaping there, so there was a lot. So now we're talking about Disney, okay? Yeah, I mean Disney owns Star Wars. <laughs> Tangent time. Yeah, <laughs> Disney yes. owns everything. Let's be honest. Yeah, Night Sisters, Zombie Stormtroopers, possibly Enoch <laughs> with the golden Roman face. Uh, Called and Kintsugi. Yes, yeah, with all the Kintsugi uh, that Kylo must. 
So with this too, I don't know if that's just maybe Kintsugi is just like a thing that's used quite often in the Star Wars universe, or if like Kylo ends up knowing or is connected to something about this like later on, and that's how he knew how to fix his helmet after he had a tantrum with it in mm. The Last Jedi. But he doesn't use gold. Yeah, he didn't mend it with gold. He uses, gold. Yeah. He uses well, red. Yeah, that's, yeah because yeah, I mean, that's gold, the... gold would have clashed with his his whole vibe on his style. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it like the big part of choice. Kintsugi is mm. using gold specifically. Because you're supposed something to, like, to do with, make like, bringing something value. broken. Yeah, it's yeah. making something. Adding My mom makes a lot of kintsugi pieces. So, like, when it first showed up in Loki, I freaked out. And then I freaked out when I saw it in this because I was like, <laughs> oh, if only my mom were a nerd, <laughs> when it was she in, would appreciate they, this. And then they did it in season, they do it in uh, Ted Lasso. season three. Yeah, season three of Ted Lasso, too. With yes. The belief sign. They did. They did. So. Love Ted Lasso. So yeah. good. Jeez. Tell me the other shoulder. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bump, bump. And then there's the Star Wars one. So there you go. So, no. Your Avengers yeah, I, one's I, on the other. Well, yeah, yeah. There's Spider Man on that one. So there, now, now you've seen all my tattoos that you know of. Uh, you've, you've seen all my tattoos too. Nice. Same. Two of mine are Mike? like on my head, so you can't see them. <laughs> This is this beard is actually a tattoo. It's just like three <laughs> a three dimensional tattoo. Yeah. I worked with a guy who tattooed his eyebrows on because he had alopecia and he oh, wanted nice. eyebrows. So yeah. people do it. People I think, do uh, I think Bobby Lashley, one of the a professional wrestler, did that because I think he has like alopecia. He doesn't have any facial hair. Does he? So I think I he guess I never realized that. Tattooed. And now we're not a fan of Bobby wrestling. Lashley. So. Nice. Nothing wrong with that. So to, to segue from wrestling, Johnny to, loves wrestling <laughs> to the Bible. I, I partake <laughs> wrestling to the Bible. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, you can just talk about how it. there was a tag team match involving God. So yeah, Vince McMahon and God. Nice. But so like the dude with like the like the kind of Roman golden face was called Enoch. So I looked mm -hmm. up that name after and so enoch is a biblical figure and patriarch prior to noah's flood and of jared and father of methuselah he was of methuselah the, yeah and antediluvian period in the hebrew bible uh so hmm. i'm trying to so i'm trying to I don't remember this yeah i know that word from <laughs> vampire the masquerade I went to Catholic school for fucking 17 years or whatever the fuck. Same. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> I went. I can baptize nine. people. Though. I found so, out, though, that it's the people that are uh, uh, that are other forms of Christian besides Catholic, that they're the ones that know the Bible better. But I'm like, I mm. feel like I still should know these things. <laughs> <laughs> Catholic told you all the things you're supposed to be ashamed of. And then. Yeah. Gave you crackers. Although, I mean, I, I kind of got lucky being in California that it was I like called them Christ cakes. liberal. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was my favorite. They tasted so yummy. The I only thing to, I could, that would get me to church. I legit wanted to break into the rectory and grab like a bag of <laughs> Eucharistic wafers. You can like, buy them on Amazon. <laughs> yeah. <Mark's face. laughs> you little now demon. <laughs> Now Freak I'm a Judas priest. I'm now a you're a Judas priest. Judas priest. I'm an ordained Bless minister of the Church Letting of the Latter Day Doom. Them. You're not part of the Flying Spaghetti <laughs> Monster. No. So Ahsoka. Yeah. <laughs> yes. The Bible. You, you... Well, yeah. So like an Enoch. Enoch was like part of like he's connected to like the Great Flood. So I'm wondering if there's like some kind of connection between like. Mm. that like main so is... trooper that's like reporting to Thrawn it's like I don't know like how that's gonna they're gonna like, bring the in. flood yeah well ooh the like uh -oh. floating Connection coffins made. could be like Noah's <laughs> floating <arc>. in water <laughs> no no yeah. no like all the coffins <laughs> contain uh, yeah, different like, yeah like Thrawn's ship is the ark yeah <gasps> we figured it out we're done. We're right. good. Let's go. I mean, primary <laughs> objective is to get the f out of there. So, yeah, so so much so that he's Keep willing the to out of there. sacrifice. <laughs> yeah, there to to sacrifice Shin and Balin 
leave them there. So I, don't do that. Thrawn, Thrawn has no connection to them. He gave him. He they paid him their money. He doesn't care. Yeah, he doesn't Mercenaries. Care Sylvie's like, yeah. Hang, <laughs> hang on. There's a second Enoch in the Bible that is completely uh -oh. different than the one you mentioned. Uh, there there's usually an are multiples in the Bible. Yeah. There's an Enoch in the book of Genesis. He's the son of Cain. And he uh, he's the son of Cain after Cain arrived in the land of Nod. To which he was evicted by God as his punishment for murdering his own brother Abel. So that's kind of an exiling kind of thing. So I wonder if it's more hmm. this this hmm. Enoch than the other right. one. Maybe it's a little bit of both. Or maybe, yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. Who knows? We'll I was thinking see. it was related to time somehow, and then I realized that the word I was thinking of was epoch, epoch. and not Enoch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're just they're kind of like all over with the, the references in this season between like the Macbethian stuff, Arthurian stuff, and biblical stuff. So it should be kind of interesting to see like where it like all coalesces into mm -hmm. yeah. whatever it may be by the end. Um, and it's definitely going to be, you know, how we interpret it as well to each their own. Yeah. Uh, and then, like, ways. with with this, this scene, too, with, with Thrawn and Sabine, I liked their, like, whole interaction again, too. Since, like, well, yeah, because it would be, like, the first time for them since they'd, like, seen each other. Like First time past. since the last time? Yeah. First time since the last time. <laughs> like, in the past decade. Uh, She's like, you I mean, they've been gone long enough to to become live action. They're a little, uh, longer animated. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and for the... The actor playing Thrawn in this too is Lars Mikkelsen, who was also the voice. Yeah. Yes, of Thrawn in <laughs> Rebels as well. And Mads Mikkelsen's brother. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That is a who built the Death family. Star? That is a very yeah. talented yeah. family. One one brother built a Death Star. The the other one is the heir to the Empire. Yep. There you go. Yeah. Uh, one's one's blue. So what was mom doing? <laughs> Besides everybody. <laughs> Don't yuck her yum. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just what well, someone okay. was doing something. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, like the <laughs> interaction tour is like you gamble the fate of your galaxy on that belief, and that like as like, and she's like, you want to understand? And he's like, perhaps not. Uh, and I did. Mike had a note about this too. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> they get taken to this planet and they're just like i'm going this way you're going by this we're not going to talk anymore yeah i want to know how they separated now like, how did how did that happen Amico, and also the fact that he just lets sabine go i guess because they do they want to find ezra do they even need to find ezra like they can just peace out yeah like yeah. i don't really i didn't really understand that I think that that's part of the thing too with like he just doesn't care if like Shin and uh, Balin are left there mm -hmm. too. He's just like what she's doing doesn't like really matter. She, she probably won't find him but she'll just be off in this time that we need. It's basically she's out of our hair while we're doing yeah. what we need to do. Although right. he's always kind of playing like like four dimensional chess with like how he's like thinking of stuff too. He plays so, moves and counter moves. Yeah, so it might seem like he made like a dumb mistake or it's like 3D chess in uh, Star Trek. Yes. <laughs> Sylvie wants to be on the screen. <laughs> yeah, she, she, she likes guest starring in these episodes. Yeah, um, she appears. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> You're from the wrong galaxy, Sylvie. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Wrong is she, part, yeah. is she yeah. part Scotty? No, she she's a uh, pure mini schnauzer. Oh, mini schnauzer. Okay, I saw the long. I was gonna say the ears aren't right. It's just hard yeah, to she, see. You so dark. She, she didn't have she <laughs> didn't have her tail docked or her ears clipped. So she's Never all she's all, all natural. <laughs> It's like the Westies I take care of because normally there's like the Westie haircut where it's like longer and they keep their hair really short. So no one believes that they're Westies. I'm like, trust me, they're Westies. I've seen their birth certificates. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So she'll sometimes have like the, the mini schnauzer like skirt, like where it's like the 
Mm -hmm. belly and legs longer hair yeah Uh, it's very similar to the westies Uh, tangent time yes yeah (laughs) um we love tangents but yeah then so like sabine she goes off rides rides her rat wolf the the holler as it were which she kind of had like a like a dog owner relationship with with the dog there i mean yeah yes with with i appreciated that (laughs) i appreciated that very much and she's like you abandoned me and he's like hmm and then I'm like sorry. trots along after her and she's like yeah. fine you can follow me yeah like, someone, i liked the whole day on that shot worst. yeah that the it was just the same shot like, walks off it was good comes back in. it's so true like anytime i scold any of uh the dogs that i take care of and they like cower and like the ears back and everything and then i'm like okay you're fine and they get all excited again it was just so reminiscent <laughs> of that i loved it <laughs> nice and then yeah so like with here too then like she fights essentially like the pretty version of like sand people or the tuscan samurai raiders. tuscan raiders yeah yes and which... she used all of her other weapons yeah. first before she used her saber which i thought was cool yeah and yeah like but she knows. basically is like her entire arsenal she like uh-huh. kicked, well, kicked their ass too so. yeah she did <laughs> she kicked booty she had when she used the like the grappling wire and it wrapped around the one dude's neck there was like an oh, like electrical the, shock yeah, the on electrical it. thing on is that i don't think we've seen that particular weapon i before. thought they is had that, that in new? mando didn't they do that in didn't Bo I'd, use that? Maybe. Maybe I might have missed that. I know they've used it a lot to like grab someone and yank them, but I don't. I don't recall seeing the the no, maybe I missed... taser option. But right. I, I may have missed it. I'm Dude. maybe just recalling the grappling hook shot, not the taser part. But I don't remember. The other thing that I think is kind of funny, at least with this show, is that like two episodes ago now, like she lost her helmet on. Yeah, on Cetos, so that it wasn't another show where the Mandalorian in the show <laughs> was wearing wearing a helmet for every episode, so you could see. Mm-hmm. It's not really Papa P; it's someone else. Yeah, I'm not going to try to pronounce her last name because I'll mess it up. But like the act, the act, the actress Natasha who's playing Sabine in this, uh, so so you see her face the the entire time in the show. I'm uh, not complaining. Because I would have liked to see more of Zaddy Pedro, but you know, it's fine. It's whatever. He apparently <laughs> wasn't seeing more on, on Yeah, he's set. all voiceover. He's, like he was completely voiceover for season, like never once on set for season. Really? Three. Yeah. yeah. That's what I saw. Apparently, I he was there. It was like is, once. Has like number one on like his contract or whatever. And then Mando is number two, apparently. Because he was supposed to take his huh. helmet off, but he scheduling conflicts. This is all yeah. hearsay. We don't really know if it's true, but yeah, yeah maybe conflicts mm-hmm. with the Last of Us. Which none of us, that. none of us know Pedro Pascal. <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah. yet. So yeah, so we get the the samurai, sand people, Tuscan Raiders. Yeah, Tuscan and Raiders. like, yeah. So and then like here too, like Sabine then meets the like the the hermit crab demon. hobbit crabs yeah, rock hobbit lobsters crab. the, ho- uh, the uh, hobbit uh, crab you. ninja turtles uh, <laughs> <laughs> they were i can't remember <laughs> but yeah like it was even kind of like the, the lord of the rings rock thing you know like with the yes i saw that as a meme a spoilers without context and I I hate that I know this reference. I used it in our <laughs> spoilers without context. I hate that I know this because this movie is just so fucking overhyped. But Frozen, the little trolls. Oh yeah, the, 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 the boulders into rocks. Yeah, that's what it reminded me of. I'm like, I hate myself. I'll give Frozen this, credit. But, it's yeah. more watchable than some other stuff. But... Yeah, it's just way overhyped. I don't think it. I agree. Should have been as popular as it was. It's like Rock on and Stonedar from Masters of the Universe. Yeah. Quick side. You lost Anna. me there. 
Yeah. Anna is, is, is I the have best Motu stuff. Character. Have I watched Motu? No. <laughs> Why is Anna the best frozen character? Because she is. <laughs> she's the most she's okay. the most relatable and awkward character in the I movies. personally like Sven. <laughs> Cuz he's a She's the, she's the best human character. There you go. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Sven is uh, the best. Uh, but yeah, with the the crab people here, and then Sabine sees that one of the 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 Hollywood of the the Hobbit crabs has a Rebel Alliance logo mm -hmm. necklace uh, around his head or around his neck rather. Uh, so was, the Rebel Alliance logo has brought people together since 1977. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know what that would be in BBY. <laughs> That's Star Wars time. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I know BBY is Star Wars time, but like, I don't know. <laughs> I know, I'm just like, what that would be within that concept. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, I liked, I liked the, like this design of these two because it felt very George Lucas esque, weird. Yeah, alien it, was, it was definitely creatures. original Star Wars feeling. Exactly. We've had so many series where people are complaining there's lack of aliens and creatures, and yeah, this one's chock full of them. Green, mm -hmm. green dark gas and uh, <laughs> can't forget Sam the green fart gas. That's right. The purgle, we got <laughs> we got all kinds of stuff going on in this the show. Uh and yeah. then very I, toyetic. Can... And then... <laughs> throw that up there so people know what we're talking about. Green fart gas. Uh <laughs> And then, so, like, Balin and Shin have this conversation, like, about the, like, the Jedi Order. Um, and he more or less says, like, he misses the, like, the idea of it, not so much, like, mm -hmm. the actual concept and working matter of it. Uh, mm -hmm. So, and then he's saying, somebody calls, can't you hear it? Uh, something stirs here, can't you feel it? So, like, all, and then all I could yeah. hear in my head was the, the, the Christmas song, like, do you feel that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, as much as I love Christmas too early. <laughs> it, it makes me wonder what, what it could be because it seems if this is the, the planet that is apparently the origin of the night sisters and their yeah. magic is described as dark magic, which makes me feel it comes more from the dark side of the force. Magic with a CK too at the end. Yeah. Of it. That's all. That's like, a special. Magic kind of and yet we have the name Morgan. Like, come on. Oh yeah, Morgan. <laughs> Morgan Lefay. Yeah. I mean, magic, Elspeth is different. Magic with a K is just a differentiated from stage magic. Um, <laughs> is that like Muzak yeah. instead of music? Yeah. Um. So John you would think that maybe what what it is would be more dark side oriented. For, yeah, uh, yeah. I like, think I've. I, I have no idea. I, I saw no some idea. theories that the people think that it, like it's uh, like the the brother from the like the Mortis gods, because mm. um, we know that the sister is uh, Ahsoka. <laughs> well, yeah, more, basically, she, like Ahsoka technically did die like, twice, mm -hmm. kind of at least of. twice. <laughs> She's yeah. been that, dead a lot. It feels could could have died a nine third lives, time. baby. Ezra saved her once. Anakin saved her the first time, and then Anakin kind and of second time. <laughs> saved her the third time too. <laughs> or if if that even was Anakin, or if it was just like herself fighting herself. Anyways, uh, who knows? Yeah, but I I liked this kind of whole conversation here with between like Shin and and Balin because it's just interesting because she's like like very curious like about like the or like the kind of like old school like Jedi ways and like Jedi. asking questions of, about like Ezra and like mm -hmm. she asks like if like Balin knows us or he's like no he's too young but uh, yeah he describes him as a Boken Jedi be okay yeah, I was, uh, was gonna ask what oh, that yeah. term was because I couldn't uh according to new rock stars it is the homeschool Jedi <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't that what Shin is I mean, yeah I mean, yeah. There's a... Well, not according to Balin, because Balin I know, well, it's just, technically he, not a he Jedi. He trained her to be more. more. Right. More better. <laughs> more better. 
Mm-hmm. Faster and more intense. New and improved. Yeah. Higher, <laughs> faster, stronger, baby. The new and improved Jedi Order. Yeah. On yeah. Wikipedia, on Wikipedia, that's like like that's literally the only thing on it for Bo and Jedi is Ezra, and this quote about Ezra as being a Bo and Jedi. So like, at least as, as far as Wikipedia is concerned, uh, Ezra is the only one. It seems like it would be hmm. uh, any Jedi that aren't like. Any Jedi that were trained after Order 66, essentially. So Luke yeah, technically like, is a yeah, Vulcan like, Jedi? Yeah, mm. Luke. Well, although because... But he was trained by Obi-Wan Yoda. Was teaching him? Yeah, and Yoda. Yeah. I was going to say, would Rey be one? But she was... She was never trained. trained. I mean, she hasn't... She's self taught well, she, was, she was She was trying a YouTube trained. Jedi. Well, <laughs> sort of trained by Leia, who was trained by Luke. So. Also trained by Luke. Yeah. She's we weren't on that island YouTube for Jedi. nothing. <laughs> An influencer Jedi. Yeah, that's, that's what she's more like. <laughs> you know, they talk they talk they talk a lot in this about uh the the legacies and the lineages of Jedi's being important, so um there's that tree kind of branches off from Obi-Wan to Anakin and then to Luke, but then Luke also with Yoda, so it gets complicated. Yeah. Who cha- who trained uh, Freddie Prince Jr.'s character there? Uh, oh, man. Well, that was... The lady that died. Yeah, We're getting real specific here. I just binged all of Clone Wars and Rebels <laughs> right before, and I binged them real quick. I was like half watching Clone Wars and half watched the first half of Rebels. <laughs> so whenever we do our thing, Johnny, I'm going to have to pay attention better. <laughs> More better. <laughs> uh, More. Kanan's, Kanan's master was Adepa Bilaba. Oh, no, see, how am I supposed to remember that name? No idea who that is. <laughs> well, and and you you see her sacrifice herself in the Bad Batch uh, series premiere because there's like one that oh. shows like uh, Order sixty six. Starting off, you see a little 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 teenage Kanan in there running away mm-hmm. from the Order sixty six, which is why he ends up uh, hating stormtroopers later on when you see him in Rebels because he saw him kill his master. Uh, but yeah, that's that's who it was. Yeah. Do you really need a reason to hate stormtroopers? Like, <laughs> I mean, from his point of, I mean, he would have for, formerly been working with them when they were clone troopers. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> same, same. Clone yeah. troopers, stormtroopers, they're the same. Yeah. So <laughs> then, then this up epi- in episode we get we get the. The reunion that we've been waiting for, we get to see Ezra finally in the show. And mm-hmm. what did what did you all think of the, the reunion between Ezra and Sabine? Go. I uh, kind of had similar thoughts to Mike, surprisingly. I think only because <laughs> I just, yeah, I just it. binge clothes, <laughs> clones. Clone Wars and Close Rebels. Wars. Close Wars. <laughs> and Rebels. New show on A&E. Um, yeah. And I don't know, like, I think it totally could have been written, directed, whatever, this way. But I felt like their interaction... I mean, I guess it was very... Not reminiscent. I can't think of the right word along the lines of someone, you know, they haven't seen each other in 10 years. So I thought it was accurate in that regard that it's like kind of awkward, but I didn't feel a lot of chemistry between them. Like just like normal Mm. chemistry, not even romantic chemistry. We're not even, no. (laughs) Um, (laughs) So I don't know, like it felt good, but there was just a little something missing for me. Yeah. Um, But it could just be, I don't have that, like nostalgia factor because I just binged it all recently. Um, no but I felt berries. like, yeah, no member berries, but I will say the casting for Ezra was spot on. The voice was great. I, 
I thought they did a good job with casting him. That's my yeah. thoughts. I thought um, Amos Fonde did a did a good job in this episode with like the little bit we did see with with him as Ezra in this, uh, and I thought it was a very Ezra thing too for like the the first thing he kind of did, or I'm assuming it's the first thing that he did once he got to Pridia. I was like he like immediately made friends with like the like the like the crab his, people yeah the crab people yep. on there it was just like <laughs> you know hanging out with them like part of their crew living in their their hobbit crab uh trailer park that they have going on there um <laughs> so i i liked i and i liked how he's playing it too he's doing it very close to the same way like ezra's portrayed in rebels so uh He's got he's got the full beard now because you know he's he's the grown up Jedi so you gotta you gotta have a beard when you're when you're the grown up Jedi. Anakin was the only one that didn't have a beard. Like well, he didn't really, really grow he up. Looked, he would look yeah. good with a beard. Yeah. I don't he think can, I've ever I mean, seen Hayden Christensen can with a Bert's beard. Can melted skin grow hair? Maybe, maybe he can't grow beard, but he's, he's still googling hot, it no matter what. <laughs> yeah, Hayden Christensen. I'm beard. guessing probably oh, not. Oh well, yeah, he looks weird with the beard. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was never made a up. master, so he can't grow a beard. That's true. Yeah, he's, he's gotta, he's gotta only gets the rat beard. tail. Yeah, you, only, you only get that. Here, I'll, I'll show it really quick. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> So now we know the reason why he never had a beard. Yeah, he just looks well. He just doesn't grow a beard well. He looks like a werewolf. A werewolf. A rat. A rat dog. Rat I'm trying wolf. not to get my fucking ring light. <laughs> Essentially. Oh. Yeah, he does not. Yeah. Usually they say beards are makeup for men, but in this case, it is not makeup for men. It, no, it's bad. It looks like a totally different person. Yeah, yeah it's that's bad. Not, that's not great. <laughs> <laughs> that's no bueno. <laughs> like he can't Especially get it on his. You're... Yeah, he can't get on his like cheeks. Yeah, his cheeks are bare. It's like a chin strap. It's got the Joe yeah. Dirt beard. Especially yeah. compared, because it was right next to your beard, Mark, I feel like it's very obvious how bad it is. This is very inadequate. Well, I mean, he, he can grow a full head of hair still, so he's he's still, he's he's all good. Uh, my eh. my face doesn't have to worry about it, because all, all the hair follicle protein is going to my face, because it doesn't have to send any up to the top of the All oh, your beta keratin? Yeah. Whatever grows hair, I don't even know. Ralph, Ralph knows over at Live Ralph Action knows. Stars. Yeah, Ralph knows. <laughs> you, you've seen Ralph's beard. Um, yes. Yeah, I mean, I like what. What did you think of Ezra and Sabine's re reunion, Johnny? Since um, you, don't, you don't really have a connection yeah, to Ezra. As, <laughs> as someone like, who like does Mike. not have an emotional attachment to the characters themselves, uh, as because a third I'm just party outsider with no personal interest. <laughs> yeah. Um. It felt like an awkward, like I expected it to be more emotional. Like she's mm -hmm. been apparently like hoping for the last decade that she could be reunited with her, even if it's not a romantic thing with her friend. Like the first thing she didn't do was just like run and freaking tackle him in a hug. And they're just kind of like, oh, mm -hmm. hey, oh, hey, you made it. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Dick. Yeah. You made me come all this way. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell us where you were going, you fuck. Right. So I, didn't, you just, I didn't know. You, you just left. Yeah. You left. You gave us the Irish goodbye. Like, what's going on? Yeah. Where have you been? Like, I expected, like, a more, like, emotional, like, like I said, like, run and just tackle him in a hug and, and something like that. But it was just like, oh, what's up? What's up? <laughs> what's up? Yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering if that's partially because, like, especially because of, like, her facial reaction to after him saying that he can't wait to go home, and he kind of, like, walks off. Yeah. And then she's, she's like, just like, ah, he's like, oh, man. About man. that. Oh, man. 
wait, wait until he finds out that I betrayed yeah, Ahsoka he's... and I helped Thrawn get out here and uh, yeah, uh, she... <laughs> yeah. Way to way to be yeah. Sabine. Like, I, let's. How did you get here? <laughs> let's not talk about that. Not right now. Yeah. Or maybe ever. I get <laughs> it. Like if it, I if I was in her position, probably would do the same thing because it's like, yeah, I would like two seconds of normalcy with my friend that I have not seen in 10 years. Mm -hmm. So I get it, especially because the reason is fucked. Yeah. So. And it would probably be a less interesting story if if everybody just told the truth immediately. Yeah. Fair. Fair, fair. Yeah. And then, so like from here, then we then cut back to Thrawn on on his Star Destroyer, um, he's talking to the, the Night Sisters again, and still getting and, penetrated. Yeah, the uh, so long. They went to a regular cowgirl now. It's got that's some stamina. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Three days. That's a long time. <laughs> There's some joke there about him being blue, but uh. Anyways, <laughs> uh yeah. Oh, he literally has. <laughs> <laughs> he does. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> like a giant. No wonder smurf. why it has to be penetrated for three days. He's had blue balls his whole life. <laughs> it makes sense. It's gonna take that much time. We figured it out, guys. It's been real. <laughs> I don't know. Usually that goes the other way. It's real well, quick, it's been- American. Speaking of dark magic, uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he wants he he wants the purgle killed, uh, like the ones that are bringing us in. And the no thing prejudice. I liked here too was yeah, that with prejudice. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Like why why do you be prejudiced? Uh, yeah. You you know you you're dealing with that being a part of the republic because you're blue, and the the empire are basically space Nazis. So you should, you should know better. <laughs> yep. Yeah. But mm-hmm. he he wants to. He's got to prove himself. He, he basically wants like a dossier yep. of like Ahsoka, like who is her master? It's like, who, like who is her master? Who does she work for? And I think that'll be interesting when he finds out that her master was Anakin since Darth, Darth Vader. <laughs> yeah, well, and then because like he. Well, was, does he know? Yeah, he that knows Darth Vader was Anakin. Okay. Yeah, he knows Anakin. Mm-hmm. Like he figured out that Darth Vader was Anakin, and then he had like worked with Anakin before. So it'll be interesting, like. Specifically, like how he may use that against Ahsoka, and like, yep, what all will happen there. So, I assume, in general, he's up to date on the state of the galaxy. Like, he knows that the <laughs> Empire has fallen, and like, Anakin and the Emperor are, are dead, and the Death Stars were destroyed. Like, I assume that Morgan gave him the update off screen. <laughs> Like yeah. if they yeah. haven't talked about that yet, they fixed time before this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's got to be some. He. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. It'll be. Nice. Yeah. I'll be very curious to see what they do with all the the coffins. Um, he says dark and... magic again too. So like yeah, that implies. Yeah. Like what was it used for before? Do we probably do usually dark magic make, brings the dead back. That's usually what it's used for. Probably to else. make those Kintsugi Shibari clone troopers they or stormtroopers they have there now. I'm guessing. Cause like True. they got there. Like Ezra and him, but like they had the whole entire I keep calling it a starship. Uh <laughs> they had the whole entire ship full of mostly dead troopers i'm guessing so i don't know some of them might have been alive yeah he lost many legions i'm pretty sure is what he said he that said their numbers mm-hmm. have dwindled that's why he Something only like sent that. two squads mm-hmm. uh, to back up balin and shin and po- possibly also because like once they're done it seems like he's ready to just fuck off and leave regardless <laughs> of if Balin and Shin make it back to the if they're not back in the ship by the time he's ready to go he's leaving without him he doesn't care Does asses not. and they're, seats in five minutes yeah, leaving. They're, 
their priority <laughs> is to get the F out of there. <laughs> Geek the F out. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, as we as we wrap up the episode, what, what do you guys, uh, what did you want to see come next week, um, and then, what, how would you like to, how would you like to see the the season, if or the series, depending on if this is the only season, end overall, uh, Kayla, then Johnny, then Mike. Um, Mike doesn't want to. Yeah, I want to see (laughs) total and utter chaos. (laughs) No, um, I have no idea just because we haven't even predicted, like no one predicted last episode. No one predicted this episode. I, based on that, I'm not going to even try to speculate. I just hope that we kind of get some idea of this like greater than power that Balin's trying to find. I hope we get some kind of answer to that. Um, Yeah. And I hope there's a second season. I know they're doing a movie, so it'll be interesting to see if they also do a second season or if they're just going to do a movie, but I think they're setting it up because we just got Thrawn in this episode. Like you can't bring the big bad in like two thirds of the way through the season or whatever. I don't know what the math is on that. Uh, Three fourths the way through the season. So I, yeah, we'll see. Cause I don't think Thrawn's going anywhere. I think, I think who who said it with Ralph and James that Thrawn's gonna win? Did Ralph say that, Johnny? I can't remember. Uh, I don't remember. Someone Ralph's said still Thrawn's here. gonna win. still recall. watching. I don't know if he's still watching, um, but someone said Thrawn's gonna win. And I'm like probably that, but I still I'm like I have no fucking clue what's gonna happen. I'm totally along the ride i was told there would be no math exactly i did enough calculus in high school and college <laughs> um what was your other question did i pretty much answer them yeah you answered them i'm pretty sure okay yeah. cool yeah so basically so Johnny, you want the the empire strikes back ending sure yes so we're like ends <laughs> the <on> downer a, <laughs> the downer ending <laughs> I don't want it. I think that's what's going to happen, though, especially if they're setting up a second season. Yeah, the the good guys can't come out on top in this one. Yeah, as much as I love to see them on top. Anyways. (laughs) Um, Yeah, I I agree with my co-host from... uh, geek the f out uh i I think she's right with like you don't bring thrawn in this late in the in the series and and end it with two more episodes i think there's probably plans for another season or a continuation of it in the movie so i think we might be left hanging i don't know what we're going to be left hanging on i'm curious to see uh where things go with balin and shin i think the the two things that I want to see most in the next episode are how Thrawn reacts to learning about uh, Ahsoka and where she comes from and who her master was, and what Balin is after on this planet and and how he and Shin tackle that. Nice. I think those are the two things I'm most interested in seeing. And Ahsoka arriving, like and <laughs> and getting caught up on everything that's happened since she's been in the mouth of the whale waiting to arrive. The mouth of the whale. In the mouth. How, how about you? How about you, Mike? Wait, stay. Wait, wait, what? I, I'm just along for the ride. I don't really have expectations of what I want. I just, I'm curious to know where it's going to go, so I... Like everyone's made good points. I want to know what Balin's up to. I want to see what happens when Ahsoka gets there. I do. I am leaning towards uh, the downer ending. Something bad's going to happen to set up the next season or movie. Whether that be Thrawn ex- just escaping or I don't know. Just I'm along for the ride. I'm having fun with it. 
No expectations. I'm going to cop out. Hashtag no expectations. Let Filoni cook, as the youth are saying. <laughs> Slash every meme that I've seen. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I did post a short to our channel that was Walter White saying, someone cooked here. And then yep. Dave, Filoni, Dave Filoni's face shows up in the background. <laughs> so good. Yeah, I kind of second the what everyone else is saying. Like I, third, <laughs> third, fourth, fourth. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I think it would be kind of interesting if they. It would be kind of, I guess, taking a risk in a way to make it like end on a like a downer ending too. Uh, with with yeah. that, just just to see like because a lot of people might not like that they'd be like what, like, what the fuck uh, yeah, but in the long run they'll feel better yeah yeah playing the like, long run. that's what I'm, Filoni's doing like, everything you watch it's all those long con a long con if you will yeah I mean Strange New World oh. ended on a cliffhanger end it yeah end it like uh, Fellowship of the Ring so Filoni's such a big Lord of the Rings fan, end it like yeah. the first Fellowship of the Ring movie where there's development, but they're they're not anywhere close to being done with what they need to do. And there's yeah. still a lot of yeah. stories. Everyone just told. splits up. It's, just, yeah. it's, it's mm -hmm. Sabine, Ezra, and Ahsoka like walking over the, the star to go over a mountain. And it just like cuts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Figured it out. Yeah. So like to resuscitate a pergil <laughs> to get home. Oh no. Mouth, mouth to mouth on a purgle. Uh, Just don't go ass mouth to blowhole. <laughs> Only in the heat of the moment. Yeah, never go, never go mouth to blowhole. Um, <laughs> it's it's sometimes in the heat of the moment. Hey, there's there's only one return, and it's not of the king; it's of the Jedi. Uh, she was in it. it Ahsoka happy, was in it. It's okay. Happy International Hobbit Day, everybody. Uh, <laughs> yeah, technically it's tomorrow, but I celebrate it on well New when New Zealand. I, yeah, I knew one hundred and eleven day of birth. I was gonna say technically New Zealand it is tomorrow, so. Mhm. Mm yeah, because I did my post today because it came up in my memories, and then as I was doing it, I saw something else about it, and it was like the twenty second. I'm like, no, well, it's the time in New Zealand. It's fine. That's all that matters. <laughs> And there, there you go. There's back, to, back to Lost again. Is that uh, Dominic Monaghan is a Hobbit? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. September twenty second. September twenty second is the day that the flight crashed <laughs> and Lost. Everything's oh. connected. I thought it was twenty third. No, it was twenty second. Yeah, because that's why they're doing their stream tomorrow. <laughs> Duh. I think I think of. Something else is the twenty third. I mean, I got ten minutes, and it's the twenty seconds. There you go. Uh, yeah, same. <laughs> West Coast, West Coast. Oh. Yeah, I, I just realized. Yeah, West Coast is on the oh, left side of the froze. screen, <laughs> and the East Coast is on the the right side of the screen right now. I'm down okay. here by myself. The <clears throat> best, best coast. They literally live yeah. on the ocean, like. Hey, right there. <laughs> It's right there. I was amazed as you are. They're like, oh my god, the ocean. I'm like, that is a lake, but okay. Or, or what, Lake Ontario? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Oh, took, we, uh, in class, in college, we went out there to do research on fault lines that are on the lake shore. And four or five people were like, is you this a an geology ocean? major too? No. I was in film major. Darn. I had to take geology class to fill a science rick. We're, we are white dudes with beards. We definitely, took, we definitely took film class in college. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. <laughs> Johnny, did you take a film class in college? No. Uh, the first oh. time I went oh. to college, I, I majored in graphic design, so I did have plenty of art classes, but That's not close film. Enough. That's close enough. Yeah. Art major. I took art classes, too. Coast. And when I went to college and actually Basic finished, and it was all business classes. Well, aren't you cool? <laughs> I like to think I am. <laughs> so, so speaking of I don't how know, cool you tell me. Speaking of how cool you guys are, uh, where can everyone find <laughs> you guys segue. online, and what is your show about? 
I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so all uh, the socials go ahead, John. are at GTFO channel. So Instagram, Twitter, threads. You have a threads, right? Um, yeah, see my shirt is made is out that... of <laughs> <laughs> And YouTube. Everyone the YouTube handle is flash. at GTFO channel. It stands for geek the fuck out because uh, that's what we do. Um, our flagship show is Trek Retrek. I've watched all, at least all live action Star Trek. I haven't watched all the, the animated stuff. And when we started this endeavor, Kayla had only seen the J.J. Abrams, Kelvin verse, Chris Pine Star Trek movies. Yeah, I was about to say Chris Pine. So we, we are starting at the beginning of... Man production order we're 20 episodes into star trek the original series um it's thursday nights at nine eastern six pacific we premiere episodes where we just kind of do this we talk about uh the original star trek with the perspective of someone who has seen everything and someone who is when we started had seen nothing uh and then we do live streams occasionally for other things that strike our fancy like we did uh, a Barbenheimer stream. We're doing nice. uh, bi-weekly Ahsoka streams. We did <laughs> bi-monthly. Uh, bi- yeah, bi-monthly. bi-monthly. Uh, bi-monthly right. Ahsoka <laughs> streams. I th- keep thinking every two weeks. Everyone is bi-weekly. says the same thing, and I'm like, no, bi-weekly. It would be twice, means a, twice week. a week. <laughs> um, we did. Don't a tell my employer for, that. For the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Um, yeah. So we do live streams and we do the flange. We did, yeah, we did live streams for Strange New Worlds as well. Once, Mm -hmm. uh, once we got to a certain point in TOS, it was like we have to start covering Strange New Worlds because it's weird not covering that while it's new episodes coming out. Yeah. So plus, lots of the cast is hot as fuck. So (laughs) it's a very attractive. If you've watched no star trek before you could easily start with strange new worlds yeah. and it's like you get this extra little cherry on top that everyone is hot as fuck <laughs> it's great yeah nice. you're in it and i was thinking plot. about this i was thinking about this today i think strange new worlds might be the most accessible like star warsy kind of mm-hmm. like the kind of stuff that star wars fans are used to they might find a little mm. more of it in Strange New Worlds than they would in other Trek series, because it's got a little mm. more action to it, but it's still got mm-hmm. some the the bones of Trek, the episodic stuff. Yes. And Star Trek also has space Indeed. whales. It does. I have not gotten Whale there probes. yet. She has not <laughs> gotten there yet. No, you'll I see. No idea what you're talking about. <laughs> that's that's one of the only Star Trek I've only seen the first four original series Star Trek movies. And then the the Kelvin Universe Star Trek movies, and I haven't seen the stuff in between that. I've seen one episode of Star Trek. One. Yeah, the one that that you had to watch. A luck for, time that we were on <laughs> for Trek Wars. Um, I'm yep. excited for whenever I get to watch that. Yeah, Is that soon? Uh, okay. Let's see. We've Is got. Is it in season one? No, it's the first episode of season two. Yeah. Okay. So it's ten about episodes? ten episodes away. Yeah. Okay. Almost there. So close. Almost there. Um, yeah, and then you can find us on all the socials at GTFO channel, on Instagram, Twitter, threads, all those lovely things, and uh, post a lot of fun stuff on there as well. I like to post a lot of memes, post a lot of stuff from Holdo, <laughs> and then also <laughs> from Factor as well. Right. Okay. Factor's got some good shorts, too. Um, yeah, he does, indeed. But yeah, so that thanks for will, having us. Yeah, thanks well, for thanks for, being for, here. for coming on this week. Uh, for for people with us, if to find us, uh, you can leave us a review on any podcast catcher of your choice. To, if it allows you to do so, it helps us out. Uh, you can find the show on social media at Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at Holdod. And we had a bunch of new people that started following us on Instagram and subscribing to us on youtube this week so thank you for the to those people if you're coming here for the first time or listening or watching for the first time uh and then mike and i are also on uh instagram and twitter at our 
first and last names. Uh, and speaking of Bacter, he's our editor. You can find him on Instagram and Twitter as well, and then email us at holdupod at gmail.com. But as always, we are grateful to George Lucas for creating the Star Wars universe. Oh my, thank the maker. <laughs>